If you're looking for reliable money drop services for GTA Online, look no further than Digizani, where they offer many, many services. Just be sure to use code JACO for 5% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Jaco, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about modding in GTA Online and whether or whether or not you should do it. And some of the information that I still know about the modding community, as you guys probably know, some of the videos you may have even found me on were me modding in GTA Online, which I no longer do because of copyright strikes that I was receiving from Take Two Interactive. That pretty much prevented me from making those videos and yada yada yada. You could put the copyright claim in your description, does not work, they will still strike you down. And I'm not the type of person to go up head up against a multi-billion dollar corporation like that i, I wouldn't stand a chance uh, i just i just don't have that kind of with that kind of arsenal i don't it just doesn't make any sense you know but i still get comments asking all the time like multiple times a week which is it's it's understandable i understand that at one point it was the channel so People asking questions, it, it doesn't really affect me, but I still get them all the time, and it's whether or not I should be modding, where to get these mods, and what mods are still good, whether they be free, paid, or whatever, and I'm going to tell you straight up that I just don't follow the modding community or the modding tools that are used anymore in GTA Online. And that's just just about it. I really don't. But I have heard that Kittians and that sort of stuff is the free ones are still pretty good. And some of the paid ones, I have not a clue. And I honestly shouldn't give you any advice on them because I don't want you spending money. Especially if you're going to get scammed because there are a lot of scammers around in the community. And that can be very frustrating if you're getting scammed. I never personally got scammed, but I've heard of a lot of people getting scammed by fake resellers, uh, fake trusted resellers, Discord, blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of fakes out there. So if you're going to buy one of these things, make sure you do your research. These aren't, you know, these aren't, I, I mean, you shouldn't even get them in the first place. My honest to God answer to this question, whether or not you should be modding GT Online is no. But there are some really good reasons to have mod menus, even if it's not for the cheating aspect. The cybersecurity and security behind GTA Online is absolutely terrible. You can join a session, get your IP snatched, and get DDoSed and have your router cooked like a like, like the turkey at Thanksgiving dinner, and you could have nothing to do with it have no idea who it was, do nothing in the session, you could have joined, went AFK to take a leak, and you could have had all this information taken from you, which is honestly horrible. But some of these mod menus do prevent that by spoofing your IP, or you can, you know, use a VPN, um, you know, just like NordVPN or something like that. Not sponsored, but, you know, some of those VPN services could also be a massive help to you when joining GTA Online sessions. GTA 5 is truly a unique game, you know, it's there's not many others like it. This free roam, the the sandbox that we have, you know, in GTA Online, you can go on a jetpack race and then 5 minutes later go rob a bank and then 5 minutes after that you could just ride BMXs up a mountain or something, you know. There's there's so much you can do in this game. And surprisingly, it has the worst security in online gaming probably possible. So, using mod menu tools to protect you, I would completely 100% understand. Because, yeah, obviously you could just join private sessions, but taking the online out of GTA Online is just kind of contradicting, and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. People like the online aspect of games. You know, if Call of Duty were the same, and it had shitty security, would people want to go into private bot combat sessions and just shoot bots all day long? No. We, we want to play these games with our friends. We want to play and meet up against random people because GTA is similar to Battlefield. You know, random things can happen. Jets can crash into buildings and, you know, the debris tumbles upon you, you know. It's just so much fun. Random things could happen like that. That Why we love GTA Online so much. But obviously, if you're going to use modding and a mod menu to do shitty things like ruin people's days, grief, then... Don't do that sort of thing. That's that's shitty. That's really, really shitty. My only real reason, if 
any any of you guys watching this video were ever to think about getting a mod menu for yourself is to only get it if you are protecting yourself from other modders in GTA Online on PC obviously you can't get these things on console that's another question I get asked all the time can I get this on my PS4 can I get this on my PS3 no we don't support online and GTA Online on PS3 anymore dingus but uh, I digress Pe some people just don't get it you know but even getting your hands on some of these things, there's still massive risk factors that you have to go up against. People scamming you. Some of these mod menu developers, who knows what they're putting into their uh, software of their mods and mod menus. Who like it's if you're putting that thing on your computer, you have no idea what it is, what it could be tracking, what it could be doing. Even though you may accept it to go through your firewall or your window security, you still have not a clue what it is doing to your computer. It might be doing something basic like just tracking information, or it could be doing something crazy like, you know, using your GPU to farm cryptocurrency. Who knows? The mod menu world is a very, very scary place. It's a very dark, black markety sort of place. So. Honestly, I would avoid it at all costs. At this point, Rockstar is probably not going to make any anti-cheat. Uh, so, it's either you're going to have to start playing in private sessions, or you're really just going to have to stop playing GTA Online to begin with. Unless, unless you get lucky and you do enough research to get yourself a mod menu. Which, personally, I would not go down that path ever again. Some of these crazy stories I've heard of people getting scammed and just some of the dirty dark places of the internet these people live in is just mind-boggling the way these people have made mod menus using their coding and development skills is cool but some of the bad things that have been made from it like some of these people are making so much money off you know making these mod menus and selling them or scamming people and you know it's just it's just it's a scary 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 place out there so my advice would be to to stay, just stay away from it at all costs, but if you're one of those people that really wants to continue playing GTA Online and you just want to protect yourself, do your research. I am not the person that would know these types of things anymore, but do your research and you could probably have a good chance of getting something decent as well as not getting scammed. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but to even go down that path is just kind of annoying and can be very uh, cumbersome. But that's all I have for the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you guys learned something about the mod menu community and how shitty that some of these people can be. Not everyone. Some people, you know, just use it to prevent other people from fecking with them. So, yeah. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and check out some more of my content here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.